this holiday season. If you're looking for the perfect gift, and I am still looking for that perfect gift. I've got three kids, and I can tell you one thing. They walked into Hype Waco here. High five, Ryan. They're going to find it. Ryan, you got a bunch of cool stuff behind me, some shoes. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff here. We have a bunch of exclusive stuff. Um, this shoe right here just being one of three made for Candace Dupree of the WNBA. Um, that's a known number of three pairs in existence. Incredible. You have these super hype shoes that a lot of people love. Um, Fear of Gods, ours are priced at $475. It's uh, about $100 cheaper than you can find a brand new pair, which ours is brand new. That's incredible. Let me ask uh, real quickly, what, what is the story behind the Fear of God brand? Why is that so popular? It, it's just an urban brand. It, it's a um, designer that got, yeah. that actually started at PacSun with a clothing brand and yes, then now now he's with Nike doing shoes and it's incredible. I, I don't know how people wear them. I, yeah. they're, they're a little out there. My for son's me, got but, one, so I'm going to raise my hand on that. But, uh, okay, this pair right here is pretty special as well. Yeah, this is actually uh, less than ten pairs. Uh, Supreme did a collaboration with Nike earlier in the year in April. Um, this is actually the shoe that Supreme was sent to make sure that they wanted to do the collab on. So it has the Supreme branding on the inside. All the Nike checks are all blacked Look at out. That. So um, less than ten pairs in the world. Uh, and it's here in the store. So. And because I'm old and dated, but I still love me some Jordans, Air Jordans, why are they still always so popular? Um, I think Jordan will be around forever. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they'll ever, they'll ever get old. Um, they're always doing something new, creating new colorways, bringing back the original colorways. So I yeah. think they'll, there's always going to be a market for Jordans. There you go. And we do want to point out there's other price points as well. You've got a section back there that's like $50 and under. So, so it's very, you've got a affordable shoe for everybody. And we also have um, a 1C. We started a 1C. Most resale places do not carry infant sizes. Oh. We do carry infant sizes here. Um, we carry every size as long as it's available to us. And so all of our infant shoes, one to about a 10, this is like $15. So you can check us out for that too. Check it out. I do want to point this out, guys. Take a look at this. This is one of these, these are exclusive shoes right here. What, what are we looking at? We're looking at, um, the, the pair right there is actually Nate Robinson's personal PE from 2010. And it's dunk contest worn. He also won the dunk contest that year. So those are champion shoes. And um, actually, I sent them with my cousin that was fortunate enough to meet him. And he got them dual signed by him. That is awesome. Okay, if you want something very special, check this out. So yeah, this is a, a Disney Store promotional t-shirt. It was never for sale. The only way you can get it by is attending an invite-only Disney Store event. Um, very few in existence. I've only seen one posted online selling for almost $300. Yeah. Mine is priced at $150. There's no known number of how many are out there, but I've only seen one other one. Pretty special. So if you're looking for that Disney fan in your life, you've got that as well. And one of the things he does here is he features a lot of local designers. So we yes. come back. We've got one guy here. I've got the beanie. I'm going to wear it. I can't wait you to introduce you to him. We'll do all of that when we come back. Okay, earlier we met Ryan, the owner here at Hype Waco, but let's meet one of the designers here. This is Javen. He has got, he is the owner and creator of GH Apparel. I've got a beanie in my hand. So how did you get into the clothing business, man? And I just tried to get something new, try to jump into something new. I do music. So, you know, it's part of the whole intangible mm -hmm. persona. So I wanted to have my own persona. And that's how I started getting into the clothing line, you know, for myself personally. And then it's, it grew. Yeah. You know? Let's take a look at some of the stuff here. I've got, obviously I've got your, your beanie in my hand. You've got some other beanies as well. How do you find inspiration with your stuff? Is this uh, real people that you know? Yes. Is this images? Okay. This is one of the models for GH Apparel line, and she's out of Austin. And women are beautiful, women are art. I agree. So, you know, <laughs> I'm a guy, but you know, we're gonna take it further than that. Women are art, so I like to use art as part of a piece. You're absolutely correct on that. And of course, you got your t-shirts here. What was the very first design you came out with? This one right here, which is actually the original bar. And it's simple, it's sleek, like but it's bar. That, it stands out. <laughs> Okay, Jay, but we've seen the beanies, we've seen the t-shirts. What's next for you guys? 
fashion show here at Hype Waco, January 17th. You don't want to miss it. We got a lot of things going on. We got people coming from out of town, Austin, Dallas, Houston, models, artists. So it's going to be an extravaganza. I like that. High five on that, man. Come check this guy out, man. He's the real deal. GH Apparel. And of course, tell them you saw it right here on the show and they'll probably give you a fist bump like that. All right. Boom. We'll see you.